It's Jennifer and today I'm going to do the $20 makeup challenge so if you're interested in knowing how I got makeup and tools under $20 and I'm going to do a full face tutorial today then please keep watching so the first place I went to is the Dollar Tree store and what I got there is this LA Colors uh, brow and eyeliner LA Colors face powder an e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner and also a wet n wild mascara the next place I went to was Target so what I picked up is the e.l.f. $1 eyeshadow brush and also the e.l.f. tone correcting concealer in apricot beige next place I went to was Rite Aid and what I picked up there is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation, the Wet n Wild 395 The Naked Truth Eyeshadow Palette, Wet n Wild Lipstick Bear It All 902C, and also a Wet n Wild Lip Liner in the shade Chestnut. And the last place I went to was Daiso Japan, and what I got is the Clean Color Sugar Paint Multi Shade Blush Bronzer. Oh, I think it has something else in here. Oh, has a mirror and a brush, another brush. So I'm gonna use this as a tool as well. Is a blush face brush and a pair of false lashes. And these are in the number 726 and it includes glue. So everything that I got, I'm going to list down below along with the price. And I also calculated the tax as well. And the grand total of all the things that I picked up came out to $19.49. So I was under budget. So let's get on with the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so I am going to start with my brows. Okay, so now that I filled them in, I am going to take this Wet n Wild mascara and I am going to use the wand clean just to brush over my brows. Alright, let's see what kind of bristles I'm going to be working with. Ah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go to the sink and wash off the mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I washed the mascara off and now that it's a clean spoolie, I'm just going to clean up these brows. It blended out pretty well. Now I don't have scary brows. <gasps> okay, so next I'm going to do my eyeshadow. And as for a base, I'm going to use the concealer. Might as well sculpt out my brows while I'm at it. Alright, uh, let's see. So now let's start with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna first start out with the one that says base. I'm gonna sweep that all over the lid. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Okay, since the eyeshadows are really powdery and there's a lot of fallout, I don't want that all over my face. So I'm going to use the back of the mascara packaging, which is just a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to protect my face, basically. Um, and this is kind of a neutral but slightly cool shades 
So just for a transition shadow, I am going to use the bronzer from the blush bronzer palette and just warm up my crease. So I'm going to take this and put it right here. I'm just going to work that all the way up to my brow bone. I'm also going to put a little bit along the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to enhance my outer V and I'm going in with the definer, just tapping out any excess because it is very powdery. I'm just going to start right at the corner. Dragging it towards the outer third of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to just lightly define my crease. Now I'm going to use this little brush that came with the eyeshadow palette. It's a little rough, but um, I'm going to try to blend out any harsh lines. Go back in with the definer and the cardboard. Blending, blend, 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 using this taupe color. Starting from inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to use my finger and dip it into the brow bone shade. And I'm going to dab that right in the center. Alright, so let me move on to the eyeliner. Like I said, since I don't have any Q-tips, I was going to reserve this sponge tip applicator from the palette um, and use it as a Q-tip for cleanup, just in case. So, there's no product on it. I'm just wiping away any Excess. All right, so now I'm going to apply false lashes. So, look at this tiny little glue that comes with. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for the lash glue to dry, and I'm going to reapply the eyeliner and some mascara. Alright, so now I'm going to put on mascara and have my natural lashes blend with the false lashes. And I'm going to use the brown pencil eyeliner again just to define my lower lash line. And set it again with Eyeshadow, the dark definer, and I'm gonna darken the outer V a little bit more. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face, and I am going back in with the concealer. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to apply the foundation. And I'm pressing it in rather than really smoothing it out. So I don't want any streaks. So remember that tiny little brush that came with the blush bronzer set? I'm going to set my under eyes first. And now I'm going to set the rest of my face using the blush face powder brush that I got at Daiso. Now with the blush bronzer, I am going to bronze my face up first. So I am going to take the cardboard again. So I'm going to block it off so that it's just the bronzer highlighter part. I'm going to dab that in. Now I'm going to put the blush, so I'm going to use the cardboard again. So I'm going to just block off the peachy pink blush and put that on my cheeks. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in Chestnut. And now for the lipstick in 902C Bear It All. Okay, so that is the finished look. Okay, so since this was a $20 makeup challenge, I tag you to do this makeup challenge as well. And if you decide to post a video on YouTube doing this $20 makeup challenge, please comment down below. Let me know if you do it and then I will check out the video. And I am also tagging a few of my friends on Facebook as well as my friends on YouTube to do this challenge. So I'm going to link their channel in the description box below and check them out, see if they accept the challenge and actually do it. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already and thumbs up this video. I definitely appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Till next time.